This is a nice car. I would drive this car. I don't think I'd like the gas mileage with the gas prices right now, but if it was back around two dollars a gallon, I wouldn't. This is a nice looking car. I wonder if I can get the story on it. The motor went bad on it? Yeah. Preferred customer of Jermaine Lincoln Mercury, Naples, Florida. I mean, it's clean. Sorry about the shadow and everything, but once I get in here, I don't know where the keys are. He said it start, but it runs bad. I didn't know. Looks like we, all the headliners, nasty. But that ain't no biggie. There's a place in Dallas, headliners while you wait. I mean, it's a pretty clean car, dude. Oh, it's hard for y'all to see. I guess I did it from the other side. I mean, Oh, it ain't that big of a deal. I do like them wheels. I, I like them. And of course, it's locked on this side. Sometimes you get lucky and just grab them and they come right off. Oh look, look, this came out of a junkyard. This is the second motor put in this car. Look, it's from the junkies. Is 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 motor number two or three? Oh, you yeah. see, is the marks the junk? Yeah. Alternator looks brand new. Yeah, they write them they write these parts on there. All these numbers on them when they come out of the junkyard. Wow. Y'all hear that? It took two breaks. One more time, hit the other one. I'm telling you folks, everybody's like, kick the window out, kick the window out. If you don't hit it right on the corner, shoot. Well, let's crush it.
think they'll fit. I think that's like a four and three quarter, four and a half. And I think my truck's a five. Give me out a tape measure. I'll put them over here in the doghouse. If they fit my truck, I'll make a deal on them. I'll kind of like them. I don't know why. I don't know why. Here we go. Another orange sticker. Look, they spent all their money on putting big wheels. Might have put some money in some. And some maintenance. No, it ain't their fault. These expeditions die all the time. It's about time. I mean, how old are these things now? Golly. They can be really old. 20 years old. 16, 17. Uh, so no. I covered it in another video. I'm gonna post it here, but uh, that's a city notice, that's a police notice. We need to move this vehicle or it will be towed. I would still like to see somebody do a King Ranch interior in a Crown Vic, a cowboy Crown Vic. I think that'd be no, I, I guess if I hit it really, really big on YouTube, that's what we're doing, folks. We're going to build a cowboy Cadillac. It's probably already been done. You know, the more you know, you think you're like the first one to think of something. Um, generally, it don't work out that way. <laughs> you're late to the show, homie. Late to the show. need to go under or over we gotta make a choice I guess we went over Ninja! Oh, I got that 
bundle on them, crooked on the cords. Straighten it out. Look at here. Got a Ford truck rolling in right now. Very similar to mine. This is a 4x4. Four four. No, that's that, that ain't that ain't, ain't gonna work. My dad was an engineer, I was born with a calibrated eyeball. Man, I swear one time this dude told me he put a... Um, that might have been one of the big old, the old, the old school LTDs and Grand Marquis, the big square ones. I swear he told me he put a set of Lincoln wheels on a truck. Anyway. Pretty nice of the guy though. That's why I don't ask for stuff. Like, you come out here and you ask for stuff all the time, then they sooner or later it's like, yeah man, 20 bucks. But every once in a while you're like, hey man, I think this might work for me. And they're like, well man, if you need it or you want it, get it. Just get it, cowboy. No, oh, it's alright. That's alright. I was gonna try to keep crushing, but uh the Padre's like, give me a trash car. I guess I could have just used that crown dig, but then I'd have to bust the windows, throw the seats. Boom, boom, boom. I just grabbed an empty car and stuck over there real quick. No biggie. Hey folks, uh, my buddy, uh, Dirty South Logging. Y'all need to go over his channel and, and look at his community tab. He's probably gonna have video but they got one of them, I guess a skitter is what they call them, and it's turned over on its back. I mean, all four tires and wheels are in there. I think I definitely be needing some new britches after that. For sure. Hey, we'll set it down and fix it if we got to. Hey, man. Hey, they're selling whole chickens up there at that Bolero now. The rotisserie ones. Yeah, yeah check this out. I guess I'm like the first dude where uh, I, I ordered, I said, let me get a whole chicken. And the lady was like, we don't sell it like that. We sell, we sell pieces or we sell a half order. I said, well, give me two halves. I go, what, what you, I don't, I said, she goes, you, I said, yeah, it's gonna, me and my, me and my helper are gonna split it. You know, so give me a whole chicken and, you know, it's set up for beans, rice, and tortillas. Hey, man, whole chicken, beans, rice, and tortillas for two, 16 bucks. I think that's a good price, man. Man, we're full. Like, I'm, I probably won't even go home and have it. Like, I'm not having a full dinner tonight. Hey, it's the corn tortillas. So, you know, they give you two. So, I made four tacos. Really, they give you eight tortillas each. Well, you know the deal with the corn tortillas? Yeah. Anybody hungry yet? I love rotisserie chicken. I love it. Have y'all heard that they're talking about... um? This Thanksgiving is gonna go down as like one of the most, or like the most expensive uh, Thanksgiving ever. Like the price of everything, the turkey and everything. I mean, what did they think was gonna happen in the economy? 
giving all these people money and paying all these higher wages, which is good, which is great. But when everybody's got money, so to speak, you know, I'm not saying everybody's flush with cash, but there's people with more money in their pocket than they had before. Well, when you got a whole lot of folks like that, well, what happens? The price of everything goes up and it don't come back down. Slapping Yatchet, I hope you're getting close to uh, getting that bow, bro. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you all up in my videos, dog. <laughs> Rent due, homie. Rent due. Oh, shit. Ain't easy being my friend. <laughs> get that Crown Vic in after I crush this. Usually I, when I get trucks and these expeditions, usually what I do is I crush the top car first, make things a little easier. Let's see what's up. are missing a lot more than this. I mean, usually it's just a K-frame. I'm not K-frame, my bad, a frame. Uh, chassis. channel on crushing these cars. These cars and, and Cadillacs. Hang on, Bubba. I think you said there's two converters still on it. cars always roll back on you. But you kind of got to, you got to flip them, get them going the other way, and then you move your forks to get them where you want them. Oh, them are aftermarket junk. Too bad, too sad. They pop up pretty easy. up in there for there we go all right 
Run in there and get your money. Yeah, I didn't know it was gonna take so long to crush this car. I was. And the video is 20 minutes long, and actually there was about 45 minutes worth of work. That's, that's classic ride society. Dang it, I've been asking him all day to call me. I'll call you right back, CRS. Y'all be careful, be kind. That was a nice one. I gotta go with Classic Ride Society. Thank y'all.